We're going to start our wig jig basic skills with the most basic skill, which is how do you cut wire. In cutting a piece of wire, we use a cutter called a flush cutter. The cut flush cutter has a flat side and a beveled side, just like scissors. And the flat side, where it cuts the wire, leaves a flat edge on the wire. The beveled side, where it cuts the wire, it leaves a sharp edge in the wire. So a piece of wire like this, we have a flat cut and a sharp cut. When we're making a piece of jewelry, we always want to use the flat end in our jewelry. So the next thing we're going to do is make a loop. And making the loop, I use my round nose pliers. And all I'm going to do is grip the wire in my round nose pliers. And then I'm going to push the wire with my thumb up and over like that until I complete the loop. And basically, that makes a loop we call a P loop. Now that I have a loop in the wire, I can straighten the wire. And the way I do that is with my nylon jaw pliers. I hold on to the loop and pull the wire through the jaws of my nylon jaw pliers several times. And that allows me to straighten the wire. And it's very important that you start every project with straight wire like this. So now we have the P loop in a piece of straight wire. And we can begin a project on one of our wig jig tools, or we can do it many other projects just starting like this. Now, I'm going to cut that loop off that I just made with my flush cutter. And this is the flat side of that cut. And I'm going to make a loop using a different tool called step jaw pliers. In the step jaw pliers, there are three defined steps. Each step makes a loop in that defined size. So the way we make a loop with the step jaw pliers is we put the wire and grip it with the pliers. Then again, we push with our thumb up and over. And because of the way the draws are made, we're not able to push the loop till it's completely closed so that the loop is just open a little bit. And what I want to do is reorient the wire so that I can push the wire the rest of the way and close that loop. Now when I've done that, and I remove the wire from my pliers, now I have a P loop here in the end of that wire. And what I can do with a P loop is I can do another skill that we call turn it into an I loop. A P loop is like the letter P. To make an I loop out of it, I use my round nose pliers, I grip the wire right at the base of the, the P right there, just like that. And I'm just going to bend the wire back like that till the loop is centered like a lollipop over the stem of the wire. And that's an I loop right there. And that's uh, the basic skills that we're going to address in this video. Thank you.